everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tenninger and I am playing some Silent Hill 3. We're in the Belfry, we have found the Saint Alessa thing, and I have no fucking idea what I need to do here. If anything, I mean, there's the giant creepy ass save point right there, but... Fuck it, I'ma get out. I'ma get out. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot to look up how to turn on my fucking flat doll bear back. It's the L button! <laughs> L for light. <laughs> I only figured that out at the end of the game. Damn it. Okay. Now you guys can actually sort of see shit. Oh shit. There's numbers. Am I supposed to remember these? Six, three, two... C9... Oh god, they've seen I did. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? I'm concerned. Bloody footprints. Concerning. Okay, what's the map say? Oh, I saw those two doors. Check out. Okay. Monsters! Leave me alone, please. Okay. Hey, look at your bedroom. I'm just gonna take a nap. It's fine. Just take a nap. It's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. Take a nap. <laughs> hug on rounds. Some more hug on rounds. Anything on the desk? There's a. Can I? Oh, I got tape. I, I skipped that. Crap. <laughs> Cassette tape. There's no label, but the tab has been removed. Might be worth checking out. So now I need to find something to play the tape on. Fuck. Fuck! Ow! <laughs> get up, Heather! Heather, get up! Thank you. Oh boy. Okay. Wait, there's a second door? Oh, hey! Lock is broken! Uh, so that door's locked. We've got the creepy save point. The other creepy save point. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the creepy room. That's 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 bad. We bye. Fuck this shit. I'm out. All right. I think the last time I played this game, I got confused here. Angel thing in the heavens. Something special. Feeling there's something behind this picture, though the girl's cries and footsteps disappear beyond it after all. Oh! Well, pfft, now it lets me move it. Hey, look, a door! Fudge nugget. Oh, ew, there's monsters in the walls. Great, wonderful, brilliant. Lock's broken. Whoa! Okay, boss monster time! Suddenly just a boss monster chilling! <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm injured. Um, do I? Eh, I can go with that for now. Hey, this looks remarkably clean. I wonder what will happen when I use that book. Or that book. I know a cutscene happens here. There's a blank sheet of paper. Hey, look, a moon tarot card. And cutscene. Oh, I should have read the books first. Damn it! <laughs> Oops. Hi, Vincent. How you doing? <sighs> Hiya, Heather. Oh, like you didn't know I was in here. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Just a little. Even though I love him, I love Vincent. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Cryptic mofo. Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. God, the well, voice acting so much better. you're pretty loony yourself. I think you're all crazy. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. That's what all insane people say. Why did say. you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? 
it's not uncommon for people to worship the same god and still disagree. God. Chat happens all the time! Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. <laughs> the point is that now I really am on your Wait, side. Wait, so you weren't before? I don't want God to be born. Wouldn't be... convenient. <laughs> Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Oh, come on, you're going to stop her anyway. Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests. Yeah, in I know, right? <laughs> you hate her too, don't you? You're going to do it anyway, I'm just he was just helping. You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Are you hitting on Heather now? This is a little bit too close to the movie. Oh. <laughs> really? He's Heather's love interest in the movie, if you didn't know. <laughs> Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. Really? You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited. Is there symbols on his glasses? Snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? They look like monsters to you? Best line in the franchise! Don't worry. It's just a joke. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. that smile says differently, dude. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. You mean this thing? You mean this thing? Predicting the yes, predicting the dialogue. It. As long as we have that, we're fine. <laughs> that lot of good it's gonna do in the end. Take this. <laughs> she just stares at the book for like twenty seconds. <laughs> Does not question the book. Even say a word to him, he just fucks off. Damn it, Vincent. Why you gotta be so cool? But no, seriously, uh, Vincent is Heather's love interest in the second Silent Hill movie. I actually quite like the Silent Hill movies. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I do quite like them. Um, I think they're the best video game adaptation. But it was kind of weird that they took Vincent, changed a lot of his character, made him Claudia's son, de-aged him so he's a teenager like Heather, and then made him her love interest. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Fucking Hollywood, man. Okay. So I got a book. Here's other books. Uh, something with Mindbenders. No, there's- That one's obviously miscolored. Let me read it. Oh, fuck you. I got about this one. This books look like- Silent Hill's Ancient Gods, Study of Their Etymology and Evolution. What a mouthful. Great, now I get to read it. Okay. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was formed. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional represent re representatives of this... Pro of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus shared characteristics began to appear. There's also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Okay. I think there's one over here, too. Yeah. Good. Camera angles! Damn it! There's a book on tarot here. See, we got the tarot card. Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card numbered 0 through 21 has a particular meaning by reading these cards fortune tellers predict the future 
Fun note, I actually have a tarot deck. I don't use it, but I do have one. <laughs> For example, the first card, the Magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the High Priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardener deck does not exist today it is mentioned only in literature. It is said that these extra cards are based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly, transcendental existence, i.e. God. Okay. So I got a book. Uh, that'd be here. Oh, there we go. Otherworldly Laws. The magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called Virun it's called the Virun Seven Crest or the Seal of Metatron. This magic square. Square. <laughs> Okay, game. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster. It is also difficult to control and is not usually used. See, its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster. Heather doesn't believe in it, so it's not going to do anything. This is why it bears the name Metatron, after the angel Metatron, or Metroton, also known as the Agent of God, or the Mouth of God if you want dogma. God, I need to see Dogma again. Dogma is a beautiful, beautiful movie. If you haven't seen Dogma, stop watching this video. Go watch Dogma. Uh, so I got the book. Oh, I missed the door. Okay. Right at the corner. Oh, shit. Hi, let me alone. Really, dude? Damn it. Lock's broken. Alright. So I did that. There's a bunny on the ground. Somebody mentioned the bunny early, or somebody mentioned the bunny a few days ago. Um, don't know where I'm going now. I'm gonna go check out the locked door. Maybe I can do something there. Gross. Gross sounds in the walls. Doobity doo boop 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 boop. Hey, maybe there's something I can do in the oval room. I have the seal, and I have a tarot card. Well, I have two tarot cards. Moon tarot card found the archives. I don't think it's especially a good card. I have night tarot card found it in the chapel. This is this a real tarot card though? No, it's not. Okay. St. Alessa. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the locked room and see what happens. Balls! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, Phoebe! Oh, shit. I'm lost. Her. Get, get up, lady. Okay. Oh, shit. Hi. Hi. Damn it. Leave me alone, Nappa. Okay, but what's this lock here? No? Okay, bye. Okay, this is the chapel thingy. Okay, here's the chapel chapel. Bitch, where the fuck do I put these cards? I noticed there was this thing and it looks like a ladder. Or not a ladder, a, a frick other thing. An elevator. I missed that there was an elevator. Oh, okay, this is a lot of doors and Box not broken, okay. Oh. Okay, I'm in hell. <laughs> Great, wonderful. Okay. Doors open, there's someone wrapped in a bag. 
Maybe no, they're definitely dead. So she checked. Oh, the sound design in this game. Oh! Check and shells! Corpse trash and some vinyl tape bag. Crazy Mixer Bros got me used to a lot of- Yeah, it would get me used to a lot of things- Ooh, tarot card! Cool. I got the Hangman tarot card. Gross. Oh, no- Oh, there's something up here. Okay! Wait, why am I- Oh, I forgot to de-equip the gun again. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute! Katana! Give me my katana bag. There's a musty diary on the bed. Oh no, it's Harry's diary, isn't it? The writing. Is this Dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that the girl that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Aww. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Not Dahlia! Let's <laughs> talk about uh, Harry's wife. Stun gun battery for the stun gun I never used. Uh, okay. Lock's broken. Okay, bye! Mother... Trucker! <laughs> Shouldn't have gone in there! Leave me alone. Fuck, there's two of them! No, leave me alone! <laughs> this is why you never read your dad's diary. Then demons chase you. Uh, oh, that's... That has bars in front of it. Okay! Box broken... No lock is- What the f- Shit, I can't see! Alone. Alone. It's oh, fuck me! Christ. This entire area is just elevating my blood pressure. It's the entire point of this area of the game. Uh, okay, I get it. I get it. I have to go all the way back there. Mother trucker. Now, yeah, that's a save point. Oh, look, it's it's Harry's, it's Harry's notes. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe that's what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No, them. This entry was written some 17 years ago. It looks like Dad wrote this too. That that's one of my favorite just little little things about this game. Cause he say you save on notepads in the first Silent Hill game, and you can find Harry's notepads, and it's just great. I love it. Okay. Drawing book. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, there's a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's he this doing here? <laughs> the door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do then with all these? I'll tell you straight and I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now first thing you must know is that there is something in each row. But that is not the- But that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground, to his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, fuller crescent floating high, twinkling light that sits on a crown on the head of a crazed clown. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Do you have it now? You didn't forget? One major point you must not omit. Now at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to keep you on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Be Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. So you'll open the door? I'm sure that there'll be nothing beyond it but frightening peril. 
Forget about that, just stay and play, or else I'll be left here alone all day. Okay. Hey, it's Alessa's dress. My clothes from when I was seven, they don't fit me now. Good thing, too. Are you gonna pick them up? It's locked. And it's the tarot cards, so we need five. Are there none in here? Oh, no, there are. Okay. Playing cards before I used to play a lot. I remember little Claudia always had a hard time winning. That made her cry. Aww. Kind of feel sorry for Claudia. <laughs> I mean, she's a dick, but... Okay, so we still have... Oh, there's two other doors in that room. Okay. So we need five cards. How many do I have? Three. Okay, so we need to find two. And I have a key, which probably goes to that door all the way back by the freaking ch God damn it! Oh, for a second I thought those monsters in this room. What the fudge? No! Jesus. Leave me alone. <sighs> okay, just keep running. Just keep running. What? Hi! Why am I listening to bloody footprints? Why am I listening to bloody footprints? seems like a bad idea. This seems like a really bad idea. <gasps> oh shit! It's a sick room! <laughs> There's something stuck on this book. Hey, tarot card! Oh, Glophidus! The full tarot card. This book, hmm. I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time I don't want to. The Glophidus. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Okay. It's a picture of me from when I was seven. Twenty-four years ago, Ma Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me when I was fourteen. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them, because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Oh boy. <gasps> Ampules! Gimme. 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 Hey, more medicine. Handgun bullets, great. Some kind of drug. Because they had to keep her drugged. Hopefully she got the good stuff. <laughs> Probably did, though. Okay, there's still one door over here. Oh, bajeebs! You! Trixie bastards! Give me one. Okay, bye. Why? Just why? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back quite a ways. Hi! Hi! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! This is different! Why is this different? Who made this different? Why? Why? What the fuck? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm in this room. Okay then! That entire corridor area is just fucked. Oh, hey, look. It's her old classroom. We're just going through Alessa's memories right now, aren't we? Man, little kids are the worst. <laughs> Go home, drop dead thief. Hmm, this used to be Alessa's. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. Big Zach Mary, not very pleasant ones. No. Oh. Is there nothing in there? There's a righty old notebook on the podium. Oops, there's a letter stuck in here, too. Let's see. There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. 
Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, I think it's best to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. Kay Gordon. Well, maybe you should have gotten off of your ass and helped her. Because, <laughs> you know, she was being horrifically abused by her mom. No, these letters may be a bunch of suggestions. People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all that he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there's some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talent or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? L.S. I think that's... I think that's Leonard. Oh, tape player! Shit. Um, I think it's perfectly usable. Do you know works. about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. One. They tried to use the seal of Metatron uh -oh. to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so, she has slumbered ever since, in the womb of the Holy Mother, until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by... Forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. Okay, hopefully my webcam didn't crash, because it kind of looked like it crashed. Uh... <laughs> Okay then, I'm just gonna end that here. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I've been playing some Silent Hill 3. I'll see you all in the next video.